Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Got a question here asked on LockerGnome.net. What is the fastest DNS server? We've talked about DNS before, DNS servers, and its relation to your internet connection, the speed in which you live, because really we exist in our internet speed. We measure our worth by how fast we connect to the internet, by how quickly we can get our data. Well, DNS is very important. You know, as much as you can get a you know huge pipe coming into your home, uh, if your DNS server sucks, uh, those lookups between the IP address and the domain name may be slowing you down. So how do you know if your current DNS settings are optimal? Well, uh, there's actually an open source project you can use right now, and you can even download binaries pre-compiled for your operating system, Linux, Windows, or Mac OS X. Mm -hmm. Now, if you haven't tried this before, I'd recommend trying it now. I did it just the other day, and I was actually surprised at the results. Ah, I see someone's got the Google's DNS server, at least one of them right there, and that's what I discovered was faster, at least in my position on the network. Uh, in running this open source software, I discovered that what I was using was actually slower. Namebench is the name of the program you want to download right now, or app, or whatever you want to call it, utility. Name bench one word go ahead and google it it'll pull up the google code repository for it where you can download the binaries for the mac uh, windows or linux when you run name bench it will use your current dns settings and benchmark them against uh, other uh, possible dns servers the popular ones in relation to uh, websites like the uh, four uh, four thousand different websites uh, the popular websites or maybe uh, your your history in safari the websites you visit freak most frequently it'll run tests based on you know the parameters that you set for it pretty simple to use at least for a power user um and in running this, I had been using OpenDNS for quite some time. And uh, in doing uh, this in a general way, uh, I discovered that, and when I say a general way, I just used uh, 4,000 random websites. Uh, it seemed that Google's DNS servers uh, worked out quite well. Uh, in fact, yeah, don't, uh, I, I wouldn't go to any direct link. I, I'd Google anything. Don't, don't look at any of the links that people are, are posting in, in chat at this point in time. Uh, you'd want to uh, run this on your own machine, on your network, and see the results that come up. For me, it turned out that Google's DNS servers, which are free to use, and they give you instructions on how to implement them on a computer or a home network or any machine that connects to the internet. Um, the Google's DNS servers, the Googles, that Google's DNS servers uh, were faster than the open DNS servers, which I had been using for some time as well. So I ended up switching my entire home network over to Google's DNS. Uh, have I seen any differences? I, I can't say any massive differences. I've run Namebench a few times since doing that, and it still seems to be that uh, Google's DNS servers, uh, according to this random sampling, or at least the top sampling of uh, what Alexa tracks as the top 4,000 websites, uh, Google's DNS servers would provide the fastest lookups, and that means everything. Uh, and, you know, I, I got to uh, imagine that if, if Google is all about speed, their DNS servers would be all about speed as well. The only caveat I have about uh, switching to Google's DNS is that some uh, Apple TV users uh, were having issues with downloads, uh, largely because of the way Google's DNS works. Uh, it's all about speed, and uh, it may not be relative to your locale, and uh, so that may cause issues. Uh, anyway, give them a shot. Uh, you know, I've been using OpenDNS uh, for some time, now using Google's DNS servers. I've found that uh, my uh, YouTube downloads actually seem to buffer quickly now. So I'm going to be making that uh, Google DNS recommendation even to my parents. Uh, even without them knowing, I'm going to do it in, for them uh, and install an extension for uh, their web browser to buffer the YouTube video before it starts playing because they're on a slower DSL connection. It means all the difference in the world. So there you go. Name bench. That is how you know what the fastest DNS server is because it's not for everybody. It's not for even everything. It's all about where you are and what you're doing. Uh, either way, I would say Namebench uh, is going to be the best way for you to gauge what's good for you.